Hello fellow YouTubers. Tonight I am going to use a 12 volt power inverter to power two AC popcorn machines. These little cute machines use around 300 watts each. They do a good job popping corn, however, one popping is not enough for two people. So I have two machines. I could have bought one larger machine, but I wanted to see if I could power two of these smaller machines simultaneously. As you can see, I've already measured out the corn and oil. So let's turn the machines on and get to popping. Initially, we're going to let the machine warm up for about three minutes, and then we'll put the oil in and let that warm up, and then we'll put the popcorn in. So here we go. Hopefully you can see um, the gear up top turning and that's on the little agitator that's down inside the pot that spins the corn around. I must say though that um, the one on the right hand side is much noisier than the one on the left. But that doesn't matter. Let's just see how well these things pop corn. It's been warming now for about one minute, so we'll give it two more. Let me show you my sign that I've got up top that says free gourmet popcorn. And that's my inverter that you see in the middle. And the popcorn uh, power cords are plugged into it. Okay, you can't see it, but it's measuring 612 watts right up in here and so they are about 306 watts each okay we've got one more minute to heat the pot and then we will pour the oil in Okay, let's go with the oil. Sorry for blocking the camera.
Okay, we will let that heat up for three minutes. Okay, I'm going to put one kernel in each pot. And when that pops, I will pour the rest of the kernels in. Okay, I just heard a pop. Okay, all of the corn has been poured in. And let's watch this babies, these babies do their thing. All right, it's already popping.
All right, the lid has started to jump on the left one, but not the right one yet. There we go, there we go. Okay, the left one has finished. Let me turn it off and dump. Not the light, but the popper. And dump this corn. And the right has finished. Wow. Right side is stuck in there. Okay, I'm going to have to use something here to unstick that corn. I don't have a knife with me, so I know that corn is probably burning up inside. Wow. The right one didn't turn out right at all. going to have to use a rod here. I'm not going to eat this. I just wanted to see how it would work. Okay, it's finished. The left pot's probably going to be a better quality pop than the right. But as you can see, the inverter did its job real well. And as you can see, this is some big popcorn. And it's got a nice yellow tint to it, so it's not cooking fast at all. Now, just some salt needs to be added, and that will be ready to be eaten. The popcorn that I use, I ordered from Walmart online and it's pop secret pops up big and fluffy and as you can see it is big and it's pretty fluffy I think there's a little bit more in the left popper than the right but it looks like um, it did pretty good. 
The right has more unpopped corn. Let's take a look at the left. They only see four unpopped kernels in the left. So we know that the right part has an issue. It wasn't being agitated like the left. The left was j sort of like jumping, you know, and the right was sitting still. Don't know if that had anything to do with the corn jamming and not being able to turn or not, but it may have. So, um, this is enough corn for one person, and it may not be enough for one person if you're sitting down watching a movie, but if you just want to have a snack, then this is more than enough for one person, but not enough for two. So, there you have it. And looking at my inverter's meter, the lights are using 48 watts. Let me turn this off. Okay, it dropped to 28. So that's using 28 watts. Let me check this and turn this one off. Okay, it's saying, still saying 28. Okay, well, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this review. So now you know what these little popcorn machines can do. And I bought them from Walmart online for $58 each. And I picked them up at the store. I think more than $50 is going to be free shipping automatically if you want it sent to your home um, and not to the store. But um, there are nice little machines that you can tuck away somewhere in a corner of a counter under a um, cabinet, something like that. So that concludes this overview of these beautiful little machines.